Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I am in Antietam, uh, real close to Sharpsburg, and I'm going to tell you quickly about the Battle of Antietam. It happened on September 17th, 1862, uh, about two weeks after the battle, the Second Battle of Bull Run, and about two weeks before the Battle of Gettysburg. It was the bloodiest battle in U.S. Uh, history, and the, the North won, but it wasn't a super decisive win. In fact, the next day, uh, they, they called a truce uh, to collect their wounded. Uh, McClellan was in charge of the Army of the Potomac. He had been in charge since, I think, September 2nd, so that was like two or three weeks he had been in charge. The troops loved him, but he uh, may not have uh, had uh, a, a great... Uh, this, he wasn't really strong, let's say. Uh, he had more bark, bark than bite. He wasn't ready to fight. So uh, he decided he was going to divide his troops up into three parts. Uh, one would be attacking from the north behind me. One would be here in the center. And then down a couple miles, before you get to those mountains, uh, you would have... Uh, a third group. So in the morning, about 5.30 in the morning, the troops attacked from here. Terrible battles for this, uh, they, they, they call this Dunker's Church. Terrible battles. Uh, I believe by about 7.30, 12,000 people uh, died in, in a matter of just a couple hours fighting for this area. The North or the Federalists were over here. Uh, this battlefield can be divided kind of. This is North, South, so this is facing east and this is facing west. Uh, the north was uh, generally, the northern troops were generally on the west and the southern troops were generally on the east. Well, this wasn't fully decided uh, until two more groups came in, uh, Mansfield and Sumner. Their troops came in. Uh, two out of the three of them uh, ended up dying and Hooker died and I think uh, Mansfield died uh, during the battle or they were wounded where they, uh, they, they couldn't fight anymore. So th this battle rages by the end of the day, uh, the North has all of this area under their control. Uh, fighting in the middle, uh, we have uh, down here, we have a far farmhouse, uh, Muma's farmhouse, and there's fighting that happened along here. What was supposed to happen was there's going to be a battle here, uh, then briefly after that, a battle in the south, and then a third one here, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, it was kind of like a battle waited too long, so this happened in the afternoon, several hours after. And then down in the south, uh, I'll show you some pictures of this, uh, Burnside and his troops, after about five hours, were able to take a, uh, a bridge and get across. So by the end of the day, uh, the... Uh, Confederates had been pushed back towards Sharpsburg, which is about a mile, maybe a mile and a half uh, down that road where you can see some cars. Uh, so what was the significance of this uh, battle? First of all, uh, we realized that uh, the, the generals and being decisive and stuff were super important. Uh, McClellan, although he thought he did a great job and they technically won, uh, he was eventually relieved and uh, General Grant would come in. Uh, the South had great uh, leadership in terms of uh, battle uh, readiness, and so they did. Uh, so that was also kind of solidified here, uh, even though they lost. We also, uh, the South was hoping that the Great Britain would support them and recognize them and try to negotiate a truce. Uh, Britain was desperate for uh, cotton from the South for their industries, and so they wanted the war to end, uh, and they were willing to recognize the South for that. So, uh, but that didn't happen. Uh, and finally, uh, five days after this, Lincoln uh, was waiting for a win. He had waited two long months. Uh, the northern troops kept on losing, uh, but he, uh, was, he gave his Emancipation Proclamation, which freed four million uh, slaves in the South. So that was important, but he needed a win, so it didn't sound like he was being uh, desperate. Uh, so that's the Battle of Antietam. Again, the bloodiest battle uh, day in Civil War. 23,000 people died. Uh, and, it's, and it, it kind of set the precedent for what a, a more modern army or what a more modern battle uh, might look like. All right. Well, that's enough for me. I look forward to seeing you in the classroom soon. I might show some more pictures here in a minute, but if not, take care. Bye-bye.